I need a beat. Call it more of a sports. wearing my new Chanel platform shoes, which I got from Saks, and I'm loving it. Can I walk in them? No. Are they cute? Yes. So I'm wearing them. And what better place to wear them than TJ Maxx? TJ Maxx is really like my home now. 26 hit me hard. 26 for me feels like 46. I'm watching Lifetime movies. I'm staying inside where nothing happens. And I get really excited when I get that notification from T-Mobile saying my bill was due. Basically, I did too much self-care and now I got no one to talk to. This is what I got so far. Found what I'm looking for, pastel hangers. I'm tired of these shoes, I gotta take them off. Surprisingly, they don't hurt though. I'm just tired of walking on releve. You know, this ain't rhythmic gymnastics, those days are over. Oh no. All right. And be careful. As I fall down, it's a long way down. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, but the shoes will remain on. No, I did not sleep in them, by the way. I don't think I said this at the beginning of this video, but these are actually not new. I have owned these since 2021. It's just that I never felt comfortable wearing them. I don't know why. I think it's just that I was a little bit insecure about being taller than most people when I wear these, but I'm not even that tall. I'm 5'7". I don't know why I'm acting like I should be drafted for the NBA, but I think it's just, I don't like towering. The thing is now I do because now I don't know, I just don't care anymore. It's kind of like when you outgrow those old childhood insecurities. So my goal is to actually tower over people. I would like to be taller than all the boys and step on them. I'm into that actually. Mm, that's a different story. So these are cute. Anyway, I'm just showing you them in detail now. I got them from Saks and Bell Harbor and I'm gonna put those on. But I want to show you what I got from TJ Maxx since I did that little haul. These beautiful flowers here. I like these because from far away, they're kind of realistic. Oh, I only paid $8. This is not from TJ Maxx, but I got this also at Antique Mall, y'all, in Pinecrest. Ah, uh, yes. So this cup is probably my favorite thing of the purchase. I think the brand might have been Tommy Bahama. Kelly Maldives? I don't know. I don't remember. But when you walk into the store, you'll see this there. It's gorgeous, iconic. I got two of them. Beautiful. Never been done before. This is very cute. Also, look how brown I look. I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I look a little bit browner because I've been in the sun. Anyway, to wrap this video up, we're gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna take you somewhere. I don't know where. I'm actually not that familiar with Miami. Hmm. I do need a coffee. I, I wouldn't mind eating lunch, although I like to cook my own food usually. Hmm, let me think about it.
me think about it. I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna get in the car and think about it, okay? Let's think about it. Put, put your seatbelt on, please. Tiramisu, perfect, I'm sold. been sitting in the same spot for a while I feel like I've become a highway influencer I know everybody hey Steve that's my buddy now don't move to Miami don't do it I'll only be here probably for like two months but seriously don't do it the traffic is so bad oh my goodness I've sung so many songs I don't know what else to do I'm sitting at a green light by the way there is a green light in front of me but we can't go and I'm not gonna gridlock, so I'm just gonna sit here. What's up with you? We haven't talked about you in a while. How are you doing? Okay, that's good, that's good. Well, I hope you all had fun witnessing the great start of an evening yesterday, going to TJ Maxx, and then trying to do something nice today, which was nice. I had a nice little lunch. Um, the only thing is they kind of rushed me out of there, and I know why. So I booked a table. I tried to book a table for one at this place, but most party of ones like to go to the bar. But guess what? I'm not like most people. I look good, and I know that my legs look good, so I wanted to sit there and cross my long legs comfortably and sit at a table. Because why not? You know, I have the right to a table. The restaurant service in Miami is so messy. And, you know, me with my, my new attitude and my platforms, I was not trying to deal with this whole being rushed thing. You see, in New York City, if you book a table for one, at least like what I have experienced, if you book a table for one anywhere, People are still kind and they treat you with respect. If anything, you get even more attention because you're by yourself and they want to make it a memorable experience. At least that's what I was taught when I was a server way back in the day before I got my first, like, you know, full-time job. And I remember the manager would tell me, always go out of your way to tell them, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And I didn't feel that way. It was more like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? <laughs> yeah, awkward. Yeah, the minute I walked in, the host, I mean, she was just doing her job and I get it but I don't. She's just like, oh, you're a party one? I said, yep, that's what it, you know, I made a reservation saying one at a table, whatever. And she's like, well, do you want to sit at the bar? I said, no. Like any other day I would, but the thing is I wanted to dress up and sit down. It's like the bar seats, they're just uncomfortable. It's not that kind of vibe today. I wanted to just sit down and have a meal. So I'm realizing that, you know, Miami's not really like solo diner friendly because they want to get people who are going to spend a lot of money. So everyone else there was like a party of three or four. And I'm by myself, but it's like, you don't know me. I, I, I'm thick some days. You know, I put on six pounds over the course of a few years. Like, I, what if I were to eat everything, you know? And I'm just kidding. But, you know, I think it's because I was just dining alone. And the server was trying real hard to upsell. And I just don't like being sold anything. I walk right out of stores. I kind of only shop online for the same reason. Maybe it's my personality, I don't know, but I don't like when people try to force me into something where it's not warranted. She goes, I just need it back by, I said, dude, I'm a party of one. I'm not gonna take long, I want a pizza. But how dare you already, like there's a way to do these things. Again, Stampede School of Past Serving Technique. There's a way to say, you know, we have a fully committed night tonight. Do you think you wanna hang out a long time? You could say like, you know, maybe you, 
can hang out at the bar after, you know, eating your meal. Like there's a way to just nicely say, we need the table back soon. But yeah, it was just weird, but the food was great. So I'd recommend this place, but the service was kind of spotty and weird. The server was nicer to me once I started ordering more, but right off the bat, I felt like it was kind of like, I'm not worthy of service because I'm by myself. I'm like, wow, little do they know who I am. Like I am the queen of dining alone and you done messed up. But no, seriously, that's my review of Contessa.